Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Monster Jam OC review video. We are doing yet another Hot Wheels Monster Trucks review of Case L. This is for 2020. And I want to thank West Coast Toy Mafia and Bernie Rubber Toy Company, the associate to that company, for selling these to me before they hit store shelves. However, they have since now hit store shelves, but I'm still one of the first to review them on YouTube, if not the first one. Uh, so this is Case L for 2020. And if I must say so, this might be the strongest if not one of the strongest cases for Hot Wheels in 2020. Uh, a lot of new models here. And of course, the holy grail of this year for many collectors, especially the Bigfoot collectors, which is the 45th anniversary Bigfoot design right there in the middle of the screen. So I'm very happy with a lot of these things in this case. A lot of cool ideas, a lot of new trucks as well. And a couple that I've been looking forward to the entire year. And then we, of course, also have the tactical unit uh, monster truck in this assortment. So if we look at case L, I guess that's a perfect pivot into the case itself. We have two school Bigfoot 45th anniversary, the 70 Dodge Charger RT, which is actually a new design with the tires and rims. We have Operation Stomp Transport. They didn't put transport here, but it is transport. The ride truck edition, uh, HWSF Tactical, which is called Tactical Unit. We'll trash it all. Uh, the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile and the 18 Chevy Camaro SS. I will bring this up in just a moment. We're going to go through it one more time. And these two as well. We're going to look back at these. But of course, the new ones in this case are these five. So five is a pretty large amount. And we have a couple of trucks that are actually repeat that are some of the best of the year. So I'm actually really happy with the case in general. The only one I'm not happy with is, of course, my least favorite Hot Wheels truck in general of Moss Jam and Hot Wheels Moss Trucks of all time. It is the uh, Chevy Camaro SS, 18 Chevy Camaro SS. As you can see, and I've mentioned this many times uh, before in my previous videos of this truck, uh, the proportions and the sizing and the way it's lifted so high off, off the chassis, it's just not my favorite at all. Uh, it's actually my least favorite truck that they produce. So uh, the Camaro, it's, it's unfortunate to see it coming back so many times with the same body as well. So this is the Camaro repeat. This is the orange design. Uh, and I've had my opinions and I will continue to express that opinion of this uh, truck and casting uh, as time goes on. So there's the repeat of that. And then we actually have two repeats of some of the best, if not the two best of the year. Uh, one that's definitely my favorite of the entire year, which is the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile monster truck. I've expressed that opinion in that review of the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. I believe it was case G or sometime back in the past now. Uh, this is on my display case, actually. That's how much I like that. And also this one, which they just released as well, which is Will Trash It All, the trash truck monster truck. Uh, something I really enjoy, which is uh, something I've also expressed to Monster Jam and their team for years now to make. Uh, so I'm very happy with Hot Wheels and the fact that it functions by opening up in the back. They repeated this in this case as well. Uh, so these are two of the best of the year, plus the 45th anniversary Bigfoot in this case, and the school bus. So they really nailed it home with this assortment. They very rarely do that. So I'm giving them all the credit for that. Congratulations, Hot Wheels. Some credit is due, and they did a great case assortment here. So these two are awesome. I love the Oscar Mayer. I love the trash truck, and I love this Bigfoot and the school bus. They also snuck in a ride truck into this case, which adds a lot of pizzazz, obviously, with the ride trucks being the big thing. Thing now so the ride trucks um, operation stomp transport i like the colors i like it actually better than hall y'all's colors if i must be honest um and then of course we have this new dodge charger with these weird uh tires but they're also pretty interesting and then we have that one tactical unit which i actually don't dislike uh which is actually pretty cool so we'll start with that tactical unit since it's kind of the lesser of the case if we have to call one the lesser it is tactical unit but it's still pretty cool. So here is the trophy truck tactical unit. It is number five of five of the Stealth Smasher series. We also had the HWSF Hot Wheels Special Forces, this dairy delivery casting, and it was the 3D raised graphics with the red stripes. So it's kind of like a blackout, but it had red detailing, which is my favorite of this series, this little sub series Stealth Smashers. So it's a very awesome truck. I hope they do more of these in the future. And now we have this Hot Wheels Special Forces tactical unit on this trophy truck. And on the back here, you can see the stats, which is HWSF tactical. The truck type is pickup. The strength is hauls it all. The crash tech is cargo crunch and the motivation is to deliver smashes daily. 
So there it is. Let's unbox it right now. And here it is, the brand new HWSF tactical unit. And as you can see, it comes with a green crushed van and there's the logo, number 72 of 75 for this year. We're almost finished. And if we look here, they actually have the raised graphics on this truck as well, which is actually really awesome. It also has yellow raised graphics in the mix there. So there's the roof there, it has some stripes, a stripe of yellow, HWSF. The side here has the badge of the HWSF crew. The Monster Trucks logo in yellow, tactical unit, HWSF there, and Hot Wheels logo. The front grille is painted in yellow. The hood here with the badge, the logo, Hot Wheels logo, obviously. Tactical unit and a yellow windshield. This side is the same. And the tailgate here has tactical unit with a kind of like a square around everything with stripes. The badge again in the Hot Wheels logo. Then it has black rims with a yellow beadlock, black, um, actually charcoal chrome chassis. Uh, which is unusual, but they have done that before. I believe it was in the last case that they did this. And then it has a black roll cage. I really do enjoy this color of the charcoal chrome chassis. So that's awesome. This is the tactical unit for this case. Again, raised graphics, which is also a nice touch. So there's that one. And then we have this interesting looking Dodge Charger RT, which is a design we have seen before. They call it the General Lee design. Obviously it's not a General Lee, but is based off of those colors and the style of its graphics. Uh, it does have zoomies, so let's check it out. This is a licensed truck by Hot Wheels and Dodge. It's actually pretty cool. So let's unbox that. There's the stats, by the way, the same as the normal one, if you want to read them. And here we go. So this is quite an interesting truck. Um, and it comes with a yellow crush van, but this is definitely an interesting truck. It is um, it's just interesting. I really have nothing else to say besides the fact that it is interesting. It reminds me a lot of the Track Ace trucks when they had those in Hot Wheels Monster Jam. They were not very popular, but this is way different than that. They're just very uh, similar style series, I think, because it breaks away from the monster truck style tires. But if you look at these two compared, uh, the height difference is a little obvious um, with this one pointing straight down. The tire sizing is way different as well. Uh, I'm not sure if these are, oh, these are the same height, but these ones definitely aren't. Um, and the rims are a new casting. You can see the rims are these nice spinner style rims. The Hot Wheels logo on the tires is actually a throwback to the original Hot Wheels logo, which is actually pretty cool since they're doing like a retro style tire, I guess they would consider this to be. And then the same thing on the back here. And uh, these are actually rubber. These are not plastic tires. These are rubber tires, uh, which is interesting. And the treads are pretty cool in the front here. You can see these have treads. These do not, they have slicks instead. And um, I mean, it rolls pretty well. It rolls for what it is. It rolls really well, actually. Um, if not better than the normal monster truck. So I wonder how these handle on tracks. That's pretty awesome. And you can see, like I mentioned, is a licensed truck. So you can see it has Dodge on the back tailgate and taillight area. And then it has California Hot Wheels 68, which I love that they printed the license plate on there. And then the front grille is painted in black. Can't really see it, but it is. And then the roof there, Hot Wheels. Again, the General Lee style, obviously not the General Lee paint, but it is the style of General Lee with the Monster Trucks logo. And then 68 on the side instead of 01 and the Zoomies. So there it is. I'm not sure what these are called. I know they have a very specific name. Uh, 5150 Black Box, Billy, if you're watching this, I know you know the name, I think. So if you know the name of these or someone else too, comment below because I'm not too big into the car industry, this style stuff. So if you guys know what these are called, if this is a very specific style of car or setup, let me know in the comments. And next up is the, uh, actually we'll go with the two school school bus. Uh, so this is the first school bus we're receiving since the last time they made one, which was with the driving school. I believe it was back in 2010 for Hot Wheels. So here it is. Here's the stats for it. The name is two school. The truck type is city. The strength is power of knowledge. The crash tech is pop quiz. And the motivation is to make the wheels go round and round. Actually, probably the best motivation I think we've ever had for Hot Wheels. So here we go. The two school number 69 of 75. And it's a really awesome bus. You can see they cut down the fender on the front here to make it look uh, thin, aerodynamic, and it has a chrome grille. No headlights. I kind of wish they would have maybe added some headlights here, but we have some flat uh, areas there. The hood here is also an interesting aerodynamic shape. We have two school up here with the lights. We have flame 68, the emergency hatches uh, up there. The Hot Wheels logo in yellow and black, monster trucks and two school. It's also written in like a font that would be done with a pencil, 
like on a notebook, like you're doodling. And the same with the flames. It actually looks like with these lines on the roof, it looks like a notebook, which is pretty cool. And then we have a, a door here, 68, the side view mirrors, some windows. Zoomies are also added onto here, which is an interesting and awesome touch. The uh, side bars are there and painted in black. We have the two school logo, Hot Wheels logo, the flames again, the fenders in plastic black, and then the Monstrux logo. Then the tail lights we have there as well. The back window, big back window. Uh, the emergency hatch, which is a really cool little touch there at the door. And it says never stops Hot Wheels and then to school. The reason it says never stops, if you guys don't know, is because all buses are required to stop at railroad crossings, but this one does not stop. And then it has a Monster Trucks logo, a very tiny, tiny one right there with the same stuff on this side. Uh, no stop sign on here, obviously, because it never stops. And then it has the same rims as the tactical unit had earlier and a chrome chassis. And next up is the Operation Stomp Transport, which is the second ride truck and final one of this year for Hot Wheels. You can see we have Hall Y'all here, the original one of this series. And then we also have the Operation Stomp normal one. So let's unbox it. Actually, I believe the stats are the same. Yes, the stats are the same. So there's the back. And let's unbox it right now. And here it is, the second Hot Wheels ride truck for this year. Pretty awesome. I do like the colors better on this one than Hall Y'all. I like the black seats and the green um, roll bars up here. But I do enjoy the paint scheme of Hall Y'all much better. Um, it's kind of a torn decision. I love the colors, but I love the scheme more on the Hall Y'all. And uh, that will be the end of Hall Y'all. I think it's the same stuff. In terms of setup, no different modified castings or anything. So there's Hall Y'all, the first ride truck of this year. And now we have Operation Stomp Transport. And this is the um, brother or sister truck to Operation Stomp, the normal one that we saw earlier. You can see the difference is the colors have been changed to yellow. Uh, and they added a couple different decals like the Transport, the Unit 1. Uh, besides that, the colors in the scheme itself underlying areas are the same. And here's the back. Obviously no tailgate here, but here's this side. And that'll be the end of that comparison. So here it is, the operation stop. You can see our transport. You can see the side panels kind of looks like honeycomb. Interesting color, the yellow. There's the hood there with the transport logo again. Hot was logo on the roof. They did do the grill printing and the headlight printing, which is really cool. They got the honeycomb effect hexagons in there in the grill and the headlights. It is a matte clear coat as well, which is a cool touch. And then it has a green windshield, a green roll bar, black seats, and a green roll cage, black chassis, black rims, and yellow b locks. It's actually the same as the last three trucks we looked at, same rim style. So that's pretty interesting. And now finally, what everyone's been waiting for, I'm so sorry for the long video, but this is what we've been waiting for. This is the Bigfoot 45th anniversary body scheme. As you can see, it's number 70 of 75, and there's the logo for it. And the back of the box is the same stats as a normal Bigfoot would have. So if you guys are wondering, it is the same. And uh, we're gonna unbox it right now. We're also gonna show you guys or compare it to the other Bigfoots of the past. But for right now, we're saying goodbye to this packaging and opening it up number 10 of 10 of Stunt Storm. And that is a nice piece. Here it is, the Bigfoot 45. There's the car it comes with. There's the logo one more time. And here is the truck. So Bigfoot 45, this is not a real life scheme. I don't believe that they're gonna use. Um, with COVID, it's unlikely that there's gonna be a show that they debut this at. Uh, so there is that scheme. If it was a custom concept, I'm not sure. If it was a Hot Wheels design one, I don't know. But regardless, it's still an awesome truck. We have seen this casting a couple times with Hot Wheels now. Obviously in the original Bigfoot, which is Bigfoot number one. This is the original casting that they used for this body. And then we had the Bigfoot number eight, the Target exclusive edition with these stripes. I think it's called the racer stripe body. So there's the Bigfoot number eight design. And then we have this one, which is the last edition of 164 scale. And for this year, we also have in 124 scale, the Power Wheels Bigfoot, which I will be reviewing soon on my channel. Uh, so they have used this body four different times in the Hot Wheels line three different times in 164 skills specifically. And we also had the other three Bigfoots, which were the uh, Target exclusive 2020, the Stars and Stripes Bigfoot. We just reviewed this one on my channel, which is the Charlie's Angels Bigfoot. I'll tag this video at the end of this one. And then we had the normal circuit running Bigfoot with the front grill and all that. So that is the sixth 164 scale Bigfoot of this year. And here's the paint scheme. The funny thing is they actually did a chrome design 
Uh, and when they do chrome with Hot Wheels, they actually do a bare metal body and then they print on the decals in transparent color. So they have a transparent chrome blue because you can see the bare metal here. Uh, like they did their Hot Wheels split paint job back in Monster Jam days, they did a clear blue decal to make it chrome reflective. Um, the only problem with that is that sometimes the logos become a little transparent. The Hot Wheels logo is transparent, reflective. It also has a little bit of blue because of the bleed, but that's okay. You can see it has Summit racing equipment, a little cut off, and then we have the 45th anniversary logo, the Firestone and Bigfoot 4x4x4 uh, with the white printing. So they covered up the front here with white. Uh, the one thing I don't like about this truck is that the Bigfoot logo is too small on the sides. I feel like they could have made it bigger maybe here on the fender uh, because the Summit logo feels bigger than this and it makes it feel like the Summit logo is the main point, uh, but the Bigfoot should be the bigger part. So they could have remodified some of this, but there's the Bigfoot logo there. Here's the other side. Uh, in comparison, the Summit logo gets really cut off. I don't like that. Um, actually severely cut off, but there's this side, Bigfoot, Firestone, 45th anniversary, Hot Wheels logo, Moss Trucks. The back here has this cool little lightning bolt, and then it has 45th anniversary Bigfoot. On the tailgate, there's that chrome color, so you can see it better. And then the top here is printed in blue. Uh, there's that, the 45th anniversary on the roof logo. And then the hood actually has a big Bigfoot logo, which is pretty nice. And it has a blue stripe instead of a white one with the lightning bolt style. And then it has all their sponsors one more time in this little corner. Um, and then the uh, engine there. And then we have a blue printed grill with printed in headlights for the first time ever for this Bigfoot 164 scale. The previous two did not have that feature. So there are the headlights in this special edition of Bigfoot. And uh, it has a blue, uh, baby blue windshield. And then we have some uh, transparent, uh, actually I would say translucent pearl white rims. And then on the back here we have uh, more transparent dark blue rims with the normal tires, chrome chassis, and black roll cage. So there it is, the 45th anniversary Bigfoot and the completion of the Case L assortment. I believe we only have a couple more cases of this stuff for this year because we're almost done. I think the highest number we have in this case is 72 out of 75. So we're really pushing the edge of the Hot Wheels year, uh, which means we're gonna start the new year for 2021 Hot Wheels very soon. So that has been Case L. Again, thank you to West Coast Toy Mafia for supplying these for review. I really appreciate uh, Katie and Paul at both Bernie River Toy Company and uh, the West Coast Toy Mafia uh, companies for helping me out getting these earlier than I would find them in my stores if I ever did. I don't really see many Hot Wheels in my stores. Uh, same goes for Spin Master. So my stores aren't very good at restocking that stuff. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. This is Ryan Monster Mo CD signing out.